everyone, Andy here, and today I'm excited to have with me the full red DSMC2 camera lineup. We just finished reeducation here in Able City, Los Angeles, uh, and so we had the cameras built up and ready to go. And I thought I'd take that opportunity to uh, talk to you about the new lineup of cameras, the unified DSMC2 lineup, uh, what their differences are, and what their uh, similarities are. A lot of you ask, well, how do I choose one versus the other? So hopefully we can sort of dive in here and explain the differences. But let's start with the similarities, right? Now, they're all DSMC2 now, meaning they share the same accessories, same viewfinders, same monitors, same expansion, same side handles. Uh, all the accessories work across the full lineup, which is fantastic from an owner operator or a rental house perspective because you can just change brains out and add accessories on where you want. Again, lots of versatility with that, uh, and they all work together that way. Uh, internally as well, they all now share the same uh, real horsepower and same guts in the sense that they all have the same uh, IPP2 color workflow inside. They all have the same basic hor horsepower to handle high frame rate. Uh, and of course, they can handle red raw up to the resolution of the sensor. Uh, and uh, ProRes and DNX HD, again, it really is unifying the line and making it easy to go from one to the other. Uh, across the board. The differences here now then are really the sensors, right? That the sensors make them unique. And I have four sensors across, uh, across these four different cameras. The Monstro, which is, this is the Monstro brain, uh, the Helium, the Gemini, and at the end there, last but not least, the Dragon X. So four sensors, four brains, one lineup. Uh, start with the Monstro. Why would you want it? Well, it's full frame. Monstro is the flagship in that it's 8K full frame, giving you tons of versatility uh, using lenses, uh, full frame lenses if you want them. Uh, and the, an 8K full frame uh, is a, a sight to be seen. If you haven't seen that before, you got to see what that looks like, but it is quite amazing. But because it is a, a full frame sensor at 8K, that also means we have a 4K uh, that matched at Super 35. So that gives us options of lenses of uh, using lenses that are Super 35 and still getting a 4 or 5K image easily. So versatility, uh, 8K full frame, that's why the Monstro, right? That's the flagship. Helium is a 8K Super 35 sensor camera. Uh, this is a, a camera you would use for an 8K workflow using standard Super 35 lenses. So you don't have to get out, you don't have to get a, super, a full frame lens to get 8K here in the Helium. Uh, which is a huge, a huge benefit. And that 8K gives you amazing super sampling capabilities, uh, great for VFX, great for working, or anyone who just really wants to be ahead of the curve and be at 8K today, well, you can do that here in the Helium. Uh, next is the Gemini. The Gemini uh, is a 5K Super 35 sensor camera. Uh, the, the big benefit to the Gemini is it's great in low light. It's a dual ISO sensor, meaning you get really clean blacks in, and, and higher ISOs. Uh, the Gemini uh, really stands out in its overall low light performance. So if you need that, you're going Gemini. Uh, 5K is plenty of resolution for most applications as well. Uh, and it's a little bit taller of a sensor, which I love, meaning that gives you the option to use anamorphic with it as well. So that little height, that height gives you a benefit there. Of course, you get that in the Monstro as well. Uh, but the height there gives you a little benefit in using anamorphic. Uh, and last but not least, the Dragon X there at the end. The Dragon X gives you Super 35 5K on the tried and true Dragon sensor. Uh, this is a sensor that's been used in many RED cameras, now in the DSMC2 lineup, perfectly fit. Uh, again, this is a fantastic camera, always was, a sensor always was. Um, now in the lineup, it's a workhorse, uh, and it's sort of your entry level now, which is amazing that you can get that uh, in a Dragon X. So uh, that's, that's the start of the lineup, and it kind of builds from there. Uh, so, so rounding it all up, we have the Dragon X giving you a Super 35 5K imager, a uh, real workhorse sensor, real workhorse camera. Gemini uh, giving you that same 5K resolution, a little bit taller sensor for anamorphic and great in low light. Uh, so that's low light camera for sure. Helium 8K in Super 35. Don't need special lenses here to get 8K, uh, but you, if you need 8K for your workflow, for VFX, or just want to be future proof, that's the way to go. And finally, the Monstro, the flagship 8K full frame sensor, uh, giving you tons of versatility and a beautiful 8K picture in that full frame uh, if you have the lenses to go with it. If you don't, Super 35, 4K, 5K resolution, no problem here. So uh, that's the lineup, yeah. So sensors, 
different cameras look the same. I love that they've unified this lineup together. Uh, it looks fantastic. They all work together so well. So um, uh, that's it for now, though. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.